Well, hello. I'm uh, gonna start a new kind of uh, a, a, add a little series to all my videos that will be cooking. I'm uh, uploading a cer certain recipes of mine. They are really, they I find delicious, extraordinary, easy, and still extreme delicious stuff. It will be all kinds from sweet to entrees. This one today will be a fresh salmon tartare. Have fun. Well, that will be the making of salmon tartare. As you can see, I bought some fresh, fresh, fresh salmon. I will clean off, clean out the inside bone. And uh, afterwards, I will clean it on both sides to get off the fat. What you see here, this is fatty part. I will take this off the skin. I will keep for my dog. Although lately she has been refusing to eat. I hope she's okay. And uh, now this is just cleaning off the bits and pieces of the salmon. You see on the on the plate, you see some fresh gar parsley from my garden, and I also took the uh, same amount of fresh dill wheat from my garden. The lemon I have there is uh, laid on for spicing the salmon tartare. Uh, just to tell you right now, always be careful with lemon and raw fish because of course you get the, the burning effect from if you actually put lemon, uh, raw fish in lemon it will completely cook in there by the burning effect of the acid on the raw meat. So it's great to use it for spicing but you have to be very careful not to over lemon it over lemon juice it or you will end up with white cooked salmon meat well you will see how much i do chopping it up very finely uh, do it by knife when you do the chopping do it by hand do it by knife i tried once to use one of those meat processor types it just mushes the stuff out of it, changes the color, you lose the natural salmon color, just not the same. So if you do it by hand, this is a problem you will not have. Of course you can use, a, hopefully you have a knife where you can do that, so if not just take your time. And then in a bowl, that's where the stuff goes. And I will show you after that. Chop some onions. That will be the next step. Just clean your hand, clean your equipment, always keep clean. I just cleaned the, the plate there. Try to cut the onions as fine as possible for you. Of course, I am a trained chef and I'm been doing it forever and uh, for me this is not very tough maybe for you this is a bit tougher but you try to make it as fine as possible because you don't want to have big big pieces of onions in your salmon same with the parsley and with the dill wheat you take off the, the trunks they are a bit thicker just rip them off because you don't want to have the big big hard to eat trunks in there and then you chop them very fine and afterwards dice it and and we well just chop it fine with the knife try to make sure your fingers are safe as you have seen, my hand just went back. So safety first, people. Safety first. And uh, that will be almost all of that. And then we're going to mix that stuff up. Uh, by the way, you should have ready some really good virgin olive oil. Because it's nice to stretch this and make it a bit more smooth with virgin olive oil under. I'm using today to spice these herbs, it's just the herbs, the onion of course gives a marinating effect of onion in there too. And uh, also 
I'm using just salt to spice it today. Uh, I would use normally salt and white pepper. Don't use black pepper. The bits and pieces are showing and that it would be not so so elegant. If you want to use pepper, use white pepper. I actually didn't use any pepper at all. And uh, make sure with the lemon juice that you don't get any seeds in it. So I put it first in a little container just in case some seeds escaped and that turns out that was not quite enough lemon juice I mean, you will see me adding some so well that be it eh? oh that was the wrong salt shaker I'm using looking for the right salt shaker now that one Be careful with any spicing you ever do with me. I always think it's so much easier to spice more afterwards than if you over spice. So always try to be careful. This is extra virgin olive oil. And uh, well, I like olive oil, so I use quite a little bit actually. Yeah, give another shot, get one. And uh, this is a very uh, tying all the things together, very smooth, makes it delicious nothing wrong with lots of olive oil anyway well I will show you now an alter quality of a video I did that once before that video from the salmon but I, I messed up the making of the tata so this I just made the tata and I show you the old video from, from quite a few years back I did that to show people how to decorate how to decorate how what you how they can decorate this how you can serve it it does not need to be served by to just by bread or so you can use anything i that, when i did it i used it with pumpernickel that is a very dark german bread but it tastes great with with crackers with anything you see down there the orange stuff that is pickled ginger from Jap japanese ginger very tasty with the salmon uh, the onion rings on top you see they are red onions makes great and down there in the bowl in the, on the right side you see diced red onions uh, capers in the middle i like to eat uh, anything raw fish or salmon with capers uh, the endive the yellow belgium endive i used at this point because we had some vegetarians there or not vegetarians but people who really try to watch what they eat not vegetarians but they, they were really into nature stuff so instead of bread I served them with the Belgium endive to eat it as that they loved it it was quite nice well this is just serving ideas of um, a little buffet as an entree well to me that's it nice nice salmon tartar hope you like it if you try it yourself don't forget it is an as an entree you can use it entree it can become a main course it is uh, with crackers bread toast with uh, leaves with tomato the slices you can eat it with anything it does not have to be with bread delicious have fun try it and enjoy it